Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing a first impression of the new Poison Garden from Nabla and I have made this look <laughs> so if you want only to see when I try the palette I can leave a timestamp here so you know which time so you don't if you don't want me to talk about and I will also talk about my first impression in the end of this video and if you only want to see that, you can watch at this time. So, this is the Poison Garden from Nabla. This is their newest palette and it's their third palette. I have uh, two other eyeshadows or I have one eyeshadow Soul Blooming and I also bought the matte collection. And when I only have tried the Soul Blooming and the Matte Collection, I can say that their single shadows are the best. Um, the Soul Blooming is a good palette, but the Matte Collection shadows are better. So, this is their newest palette. It's the Poison Garden. And a lot of people were disappointed when this came out. This is the front, or it's a sleeve. I like the sleeves, but I think it's necessary. And the palette looks the same. I think it's just... It's a little bit darker or it's... I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a little bit darker. Um, a lot of people were disappointed because it's no green in this palette. But the palette looks like this. And this is 15 shades. And... I like this palette. I was not disappointed because I don't like green. So this is the look of the palette. And the colors that I'm looking most forward to when I saw this palette was of course this Honey, this Subliminal and this Majorelle because that looked like a fun color. So this is the palette and I have seen a lot of good reviews and a lot of bad reviews. So I don't know if maybe some people got a bad palette. That can happen. Um, I bought this the day it came to Beauty Bay. I don't know if it was the same day it launched. Or maybe a couple days after. So I haven't seen so many reviews when I order it. But then it took like a week for it to come to me. And then the reviews started popping up. So yeah, um, <laughs> if you want to see this look... Um, I will get into that now and then I will talk about my first impression but I can say that this Poison Garden it's cruelty free and vegan. I am not completely sure but I think almost everything from Nabla is vegan. It's an Italian in the brand and their marketing thing when they launched what was that they were cruelty free and I think 100% vegan. I am not sure. I will check this up and I will write it down in the description. So yeah, just hop into this tutorial or first impression. Okay, so I will start my look with this Poison Garden. Poison Garden. <laughs> and I think I will do something that maybe is expected for me, but maybe not. So I think I will you I want to use this one and I want to use Honey, Subliminal and Zodiac I think. So I think I'm going to do uh, two colors in my crease and uh, yeah. So I'm thinking of taking the Zodiac on my outer corner and then in my outer crease and then Honey in my inner crease, Subliminal on my inner corner on my lid <laughs> and majoral majoral on my lower lash line and I am a little bit nervous because I have heard so bad reviews of this palette and I also heard good reviews but mostly bad so I will start with Zodiac and taking it on my outer corner outer crease. Why is it so hard for me? And I take a very small brush from NYX and this is the 16. 
I don't know what it's called more than the 16. And I have primed my eyes, but I have not set my base, my eyeshadow base, because I have no base on, as you might see. I never know how I should film this when I'm doing a look, because I don't know. I don't like when it's like this close. But I don't know if I am too far away. I hope not. Okay, so... This is a nice color. It may be not as pigmented as I thought it would be, but... I sometimes like darker colors when they're not are not so pigmented because it feels easier to work with so I think this is good for this one and I think I can blend it out it doesn't get stuck anywhere so that is good okay so I will have it like this and I don't know if I should go in with zodiac and put it here as well no I think I will take the honey shade and put it on my inner crease. I don't know why I do this double crease thing because I am not so good at it. But I think I have to just do it more if I want to be better at it. This was a really nice color. And this was also also easy to blend and maybe it's a little bit darker than I expected but I still like it and I think they can go together the zodiac and the honey without being muddy I think it works. I think this looks kinda good at least. I have heard so mixed reviews about this one. Um, some people are followed, I got it in PR. They liked it. And I know that they didn't just say they liked it because they got it in PR, because I trust those people. But then I saw somebody that bought it and they d didn't like it as much. And then I was like, maybe it's not good. But I don't know, so far so good so i will take the zodiac and put it on my outer lid i don't know what it's called my outer corner if it's called inner corner it should be out outer corner or am i wrong maybe i am okay so this one it's get opaque at once and it stucks where I want it to stuck so that's good I got a little bit of fallout here but that happens sometime okay so I think I will take the sublim subliminal but is that maybe a little bit boring maybe I should do something more fun but I want to take this on my eyes and I don't want it to be too much so I will take subliminal it's this one and put it on my inner corner and I hope this will work without spraying my brush or without any glitter glue it's something on the brush at least okay I don't know if this is going to be able to 
get opaque on its own. It's very, very glittery. And I can't control it. It gets like everywhere. But it did get opaque. And not just a shimmer. And I need to take this brush again. And they went good together, the Zodiac. And this subliminal. 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 But maybe it isn't like this concentrated where I put it, the glitter specks. It went up a little bit on the honey shade. But that's... I'm okay with that. It feels like I have to pack it on. And not drag it on. Okay, so I think my lids are finished. And I think I like this. It's maybe a bit too dark and not so fun. But we are going to make it fun on the eyes. So... I will take this fallout away and I will fix my base and then I will be back and we will get into this awesome blue shade and hopefully it works. So I fix my face and then I come back and we do the last things of this makeup. Okay, the face is on and you can see it. So I will take this blue shade Majorel. Uh, and put it on my lower lash and I don't know which brush I will use I think I will try with this it's from Colourpop it's the E10 I guess it stands for I10 so I'm gonna take some this and can you see what I'm doing? I think I will not take it the whole way in so I can put like a light shimmer or something. I will take Rosita and put it on my inner corner. In here. And the, that is not a good brush. I want something on my lower, on my waterline. But I don't really know what if I want to go with blue or if I want to go with orange or something else. I think I will go with a blue. No. I think I will take an orange one. And I will take my favorite orange pen that's from Linda Holberg and it's the likable mood. Okay, so I will let down my hair and I will put on some mascara and uh, maybe some lips. I don't know what I want to do for kind of lipstick to go with this look. Maybe something neutral. So I will take down my hair, put on some mascara and then I will be back. And I can talk a little bit of my feelings about this palette, my first impression and what I think. So, I'm gonna fix this last thinglings. Okay, so here is the finished look and I used Nabla's Blair on my lips. And I think I like this color. <laughs> so, this is my first impression of the Poison Garden from Nabla and I have nothing to complain. On uh, the shadows worked good they were easy to work with they were easy to blend out and uh, this subliminal this one the glitter shade it worked on its own so I am actually I am glad about this palette right now I tried uh, five colors and I like them Maybe this 
Majorel is not that bright as I wanted it to be but I can live with it and I am so glad that it's better than I thought it would be when I have seen a lot of reviews and stuff like that so I like this palette as a first impression I think it's a good palette maybe it's not the best palette I have ever tried I don't think it's a bad palette I don't know if it works for everybody, I don't know if it will work for you, but it feels like it will work for me. I will of course do more looks with this. I'm thinking about doing more free looks one palette. I think you should have seen my first one I did. It's not my best video, it's not, but I think it's fun to try to do different looks with it. and. I think it can be three really fun looks with this palette because it has a lot of the different colors. I can do maybe just the orange or a warm one, a blue one, a more pink one. So I will definitely try to do three looks one palette with this. And for my first impression I like it. I like the shadows I have tried. I like how they work together, I like how they work, but I can recommend this for me. I don't know if it will suit you. I think this is a... It's being... I don't know how it, I should put it. It feels like a controversial palette in some way that some hate it, some love it and uh, Many people like think it's shit. I think it's a good palette. My first impression tells me it's a good palette, but I don't know. I have to try it a lot more. My first impression is good. I don't know if I can recommend this palette. I don't think it's it's not the worst palette I have ever tried by far. It's not. <laughs> so yeah, I like this palette and I hope you like this video and I will try to put up a free looks one palette with this one. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!